Namaste everyone. Welcome to the Charvak podcast. This is Kushal Mehra. So as I had mentioned when I had done my first podcast on the Lok Sabha elections uh, 2024 at that time with Pradeep Bhandari that now uh, running up to the elections we are going to do a lot more discussions. This is the second one in those series and today we are going to analyze the entire political landscape state by state every every uh, single state of India seat distribution and everything and as always, to talk about it, uh, I have with me Adit Kapadia. Adit, welcome. Kya hal hai? Bas, thik thak, Kushal. Uh, uh, hopefully, India mein election jaisa lag raha hai because online yaha se dekho to aisa lag raha hai ki there is there is an air of complete inevitability. 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 <laughs> it took me three tries to say that word. <laughs> hota hai, hota hai, hota hai. <laughs> but yes, that's how inevitability is. <laughs> Uh, and, and before uh, let me uh, people are asking cricket ki podcast kab karoge 15 tarikh ko friday ko uh, uske uh, matlab vaihat log jab hum log cricket ki podcast karte to puchte election ki podcast kyun nahi kar rahe ho election ki podcast karte to log puchte cricket ki podcast kyun nahi kar rahe ho dono side vaihat log baithe hue hain jaise dalo 15 tarikh ko cricket ki podcast hogi after the fifth test match is over aur ipl ki podcast ek alag hogi wo hum figure out karenge 17 tarikh ko i think wpl is going to finish Uske baad mm-hmm. IPL is starting, so we will do that. But okay, so this is what uh, Adit and I have decided. We are going to go state by state mm-hmm. in an order where the state with the largest seats to the state with the least number of seats. Aise jayenge. So today's order is going to be, we'll start with, let's say the top five. Uttar Pradesh, mm-hmm. Maharashtra, West Bengal, Bihar, Tamil Nadu. That's mm-hmm. how we are going to go. And then we'll keep working from there. Now I have said my bit. So Adit, uh, AK hmm. karke. So you start with Uttar Pradesh. We have 80 Lok Sabha seats in Correct. Uttar Pradesh. So Pele, before we get into that, a couple of uh, ground rules and uh, exceptions and stuff. Right now, the model code of conduct has not been set. Typically, we've seen that model code of conduct set hone ke baad, uh, about four weeks or five weeks later, you're going to have uh, uh, the elections being started. Um, last time it was uh, March 9th or 10th is when they did and April 9th or 10th is when the election started. So the expectation is next week around 12th or 13th maybe. I, I, I always am curious that when are the government yatras and all the discussions ending because typically the, it always works. Every government announces schemes and then the model code of conduct is, you know, and, and enforced and so forth. It's it's standard operating practice. Um, So that tells me that the elections will probably start second week of April. So the results and everything will be a week later. Um, Having said that right now, that's why not all the nominees have been declared. So there are seat by seat where it could get, uh, uh, you know, some creative in terms of alliances and independent. And as we get closer to the elections, but right now, if you talk about a um, 180 degree view, it seems like, you know, the BJP is ahead. Now the discussion uh, and significantly so the discussion around everywhere is Access will the, wo jo survey aata, usme BJP was shown getting more than 300 seats. Na? Correct. Yes. So more, which is more than their tally last time, which was 303. Yeah. So a lot of them are giving 330. And so the whole debate right now is will BJP get 350? Will the NDA get 400? And that's what we are going to do when we look as a state by state. And so then we go. BJP uh, slogan is Abki Bar Char So Par. Right. That's right. That's right. And that Charso is vague. But I think the, what they mean is Charso NDA. I don't think Charso BJP ke is possible. Uh, uh, do you in, think if BJP got Charso ni mile to the commentary art will be like, uh, dekha, BJP lost because they said Charso par, but they did not go Charso par? Ah, nee, matlab, if, if NDA gets anywhere close to Charso, then uh, if you remember our assembly election discussions and everyone was saying moe moe below that news laundry and wire ka stream, it's going to be a giant eight hour version of that. That was that was so good. I was one of the people who was watching news laundry, not to listen to them, but to read the live. Haan, just to them. <laughs> And, and the funny thing is, you can see them scrolling. It's like, uh, we're getting questions and then probably scrolling through all the moe moes to see actual <laughs> questions. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. But having said that, let's go to let's go to Uttar Pradesh uh, uh, because that's the, you know, like you said, the biggest state, the biggest prize. And, and we'll talk, I, I'm going to talk about Uttar Pradesh and Uttarakhand together because um, there's, I know Uttarakhand has five seats, but, you know, they were one state before. So it's just easier to talk about them. Um, 2019, Uttar Pradesh was a very interesting uh, situation. For the first time in the history, in the last 
sort of 20 year history or 25 year history of up politics after the guest house uh, scandal and you guys can look up what the guest house scandal was with mayawati and mulayam singh yadav mayawati and akhilesh yadav formed an alliance to take on the bjp and they call it the boa bhatija alliance or something like that and uh, uh, and basically they it was said that this was uh, you know an impenetrable alliance and the congress was mad that the congress did not get uh, 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 their share so basically they only said ki aapke liye do seat chhod denge ya teen seat chhod denge and uh, amethi and raibareli i think uh, spbsp did not nominate anyone regardless what happened was uh, ultimately the bsp and sp even together only got 15 seats bjp still managed to get 62 seats and they got 49.98 almost 50% of the vote share that is unbelievable when you when you get that in in a typical up election in a four cornered contest if bjp was getting even close to like you know 45% they would sweep uh, sweep with with higher numbers and you saw that last time in two, uh, the election before in 2014 bjp plus apnadal which is the bjp ally got 73 out of 80 even though they got about 43% vote that is because it was a four cornered fight and the bsp which got 19.8% of the vote got a big zero in that this time bsp since it was in an alliance it could leverage its 19% vote to a higher 10 seat gain then sp with the same vote share only got five so that was the thing so when you come to uh, the 2024 elections what you have to understand is up will votes in four clusters and there is going to be multiple phases and stuff but there is always going to be the western up uh, uh, cluster the purvanchal or the eastern up then there is going to be the avad which is the central and uh, and then there are there are uh, there are regions uh, like within the area that's bordering uh, mp like bundelkhand then there are there are areas to the north with the nepal border so they are they, their people operate as satraps on their own so where the boa bhatija alliance got the most bang for their buck last time was west Western UP and parts of Purvanchal. Now, Western UP, they have an ob and obviously the Samajwadi pocket boroughs of you know your Jaswant Nagar, Kanauj, and stuff in the uh, in the heartland. Um, in in the Western UP, the biggest concern for the BJP is going to be uh, the Muslim vote. Because there's going to be 20-25% Muslim votes. In some seats, it's up to about 35-40%. Mm. And we've seen that since there is an SP Congress alliance, there is a virtual 90% uh, consolidation with the SP Congress Alliance of the Muslim vote. Most surveys seem to suggest that. Most people seem to suggest that. So when when you have when you have that sort of uh, uh, thing, what is the BJP looking at? Are they going to you look want at just... me to put that uh, image up of the 65 seats allotted about in UP as of now by BJP <laughs> for absolutely. for you? Okay, yeah, absolutely. Chal, I'll put it up then. All right. And. While you put it up, the reason I was saying about Western UP is crucial is BJP realized that that the Muslim vote is going to be a crucial part. So what they did was they took someone from the alliance uh, that was with the Bua Bhatija. I forgot to mention there was another party with them, Ajit Singh, the Rashtriya Lok Dal. Ajit Singh. Zoom uh, 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 Let me see if I can uh, send you the picture itself. Yeah. Uh, to put in our chat or something. But my, my point was now Ajit Singh unfortunately has passed away. Uh, but his son Jain Chaudhary is going to be um, uh, contesting as a BJP ally. Now suddenly what happens is the JAT vote which is very uh, uh, very crucial to uh, to the Western UP construct. That's where you're going to have sort of a virtual um, one-sided thrust towards the BJP-led NDA. Because the RLD controlled some of the JAT vote, the BJP used to get some of the JAT vote. So all these seats like Kerana, um, Muzaffar Nagar, uh, Hathras, Bagpat, Merat, they are all we are we are all going to see them uh, uh, fall in the BJP lap. Muzaffar Nagar, uh, Muzaff I'm sorry, not uh, Muzaffar Nagar is all going to be like a 50-50 seat. But then you have seats like Saharanpur and stuff. So it's it's really going to be a JAT consolidation versus 
Muslim consolidation. Those are the two big blocks in Western UP. And then the then the fight then it will be with, with the Rajput vote, Brahmin vote, and how does it split and where does it split? So that's mm. that those are your major concerns about the Western UP area. Now this time BJP has five uh, five allies within NDA. Two seats they have given to RLD, two seats to Apnadal, one to Nishad Party, which is Sanjay Nishad, and one day to Suhel Dev's uh, Bharatiya Samaj uh, Samaj Party, who is Om Prakash Rajbar. He is yeah. uh, he is with uh, he was with uh, Adityanath. He became a cabinet minister, then he was sacked because he was talking against the alliance, then he formed an alliance with Samajwadi party, uh, yeah, then he came back and now he's uh, uh, with the NDA. So it's very, very interesting uh, situation there. And then um, apart from that, I think um, uh, you, you're going to have uh, the Samajwadi uh, uh, Chandrasekhar Azad Congress party. Now there, and I, I don't know, Kushal, what are your thoughts about it, but Samajwadi party has given 17 seats, it seems, to the Congress. But look, it's a lot of people. I heard 11 seats. Even 10 seats is too much. Because uh, unless and until what they have thought is 10 of those 17 or 12 of those 17 are seats that BJP is going to win by 4-5 lakh votes, so Congress can give it to so they can just give, give it to some cadre. And... Um, you know, enjoy the <laughs> that we have fought so many seats. Pe lade so that, that, Did you see that, that uh, uh, Samajwadi Party ka ke Akhilesh Ji ka answer to Navika? Uh, that was a hilarious moment. I'm I'm not going to play it, but if you guys have not looked at for a recent interview clip of Navika Kumar of Times Now questioning Akhilesh Ji, about hmm. what did you mean by uh, kuch to why M or what was it? It was abbreviation. Tha, ah, M by Alliance. And he said, no, no. So he, she asked, why did you not give MY to the Raja Sabha ticket? And he's like, MY mein, M is Mahila and Y is youth. Something like yeah. that. <laughs> that was... And, so he said, why did you not give the Raja so then Navika said that Akhilesh Ji, you have been in the last few years, I have been a reporter of the Raja Niti from that. Please, this is a shagufa. I loved so, it though. It was so know, good. I absolutely loved it. It, it is also almost Akhilesh Yadav acknowledging that they have nothing to do. They have no idea about uh, Hindu votes and how to do it. So uh, basically... Uh, ye, ye bakwas chal rahe, right? <laughs> so, uh, but, that but, was uh, Akhilesh Ji's uh, <laughs> Lagbag Mana kar diya hai moment as far as Hindu voters are concerned. <laughs> uh, they are like, bas hoi gaya hai. <laughs> so, so there is th- 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 that's the funny thing of that. Now, this time Akhilesh is a very interesting situation. Uh, so the Yadav family seats, and I call it the Yadav family seats, your Firozabad, Mainpuri, Badaon area, right? They have they are Badaon area, they are all owned. Dharmendra Yadav was there, Dimple Yadav was there. Now, Shivpal and Akhilesh were actually fighting for the last two, three elections. Since Bulayam Singh Yadav passed away, this is the first time Shivpal Yadav has come back. So when we come to the central Uttar Pradesh Shavad area, the SP belt. This time the SP is on a much stronger wicket there, uh, yeah. because you have Firozabad, se Akshay, uh, Akshay Yadav, Venpuri, se Dimple Yadav, Badaon, se Shivpal Singh Yadav, who I think uh, SP barely lost that seat. BJP scraped to get like five or six seats there. So I personally think that this is going to be a uh, tougher election in Awadh Pradesh than BJP uh, claims, because Mayawati was never strong that much. But Congress has gotten a virtual uh, because of the positions they've taken and because of the stance they've chosen to uh, adopt 80 to 90 percent muslim vote so even if congress had like 10 percent vote towards itself it should be easier for them to transfer that vote to the sp so i think they have a better chance there uh, to do but on western uttar, uh, western uttar pradesh um mayavati and akhilesh together got about seven seats last time i don't see them uh, getting more than five the uh, congress and akhilesh alliance if they get more than that i'll be i'll be absolutely shocked um now we come to the the purvanchal the purvanchal region where yogi adityanath and you know his uh, uh because of gorakhpur and stuff he's extremely strong there and you i i i will say the alliance with nishad party the alliance with nitish kumar in bihar 
because we're going to talk about bihar yeah, because hey, there are hey, there are... can i can i can i just take this moment to Please. just go lol ki tawde saab meri podcast pe aake nahi 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 aur maine unka tabhi bola tha aap thodi der mein sukka balti khane wale ho aur ye hua sala mere ko log aise troll kar rahe jaise main vinod tawde hu are bhai main thodi da vinod tawde hu main thodi da bjp hu maine to honestly ulta i asked him a question and i even trolled him on the podcast i was like aap ye bol rahe ho sukka होगा इन द बॉर्डर सीट एरिया वॉट इज इंटरेस्टिंग इज गोरखपुर में रवि किशन अगेन एंड देन देव कैप्ट यू नो आजमगढ़ से दिनेश लाल यादव नाउ आजमगढ़ इज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग वॉज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग एस पी सीट बट लास्ट टाइम दिनेश लाल यादव ऑल्सो नोन एज नेरा हुआ द स्टार द भोजपुरी स्टार ही ब्रिच दैट फोर्ट्रेस ऑफ मुलायम सिंह यादव आफ्टर ही पास्ट वे so that is the one very interesting uh, name and uh, he is a bombay name is kripashankar singh who was the the guy from uh, 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 congress who was taken into the bjp he is from jaunpur uttar pradesh and he has been given jaunpur to fight in up usko literally maharashtra ke politics se nikal ke up ke politics mein dal diya so bhai uh, dekho abhi aisa hai na ki bjp aur bjp ke wahiya decision jo hai na and i say this as a bjp voter बीजेपी yeah. और बीजेपी के वही आज डिसीजन डोंट सरप्राइज मी एनी मोर ये हाँ. वही आदमी है जिसने आरएसएस की साजिश वाला वो 2611 किया था याद है ना करेक्ट एब्सोल्युटली द मैन बॉस इफ यू आर फ्रॉम मुंबई दिस मैन मेड हिज करियर इन मुंबई ही केम टू मुंबई अभी अलेजेडली बिकॉज़ भाई नहीं तो केस हो जाता है तो अलेजेडली द मैन हैज बीन इन्वॉल्वड इन rampant corruption allegedly hmm. and bjp picks this man rss ki sajish bolne wala and puts him in jaunpur up are bhai kuch to sharam karo yaar bjp walo kuch to sharam karo i'm going to say that milin devra would have been a better pick within the bjp than kripa shankar singh it is I'm, disgusting it is disgusting and because... bjp supporters like us have to say it absolutely matlab i uh, uh, i have been uh, the the joke i say is i have been a mumbai supporter as long as i have been a bjp supporter i mean that's how much i love the city and I, but i've followed the politics and mujhe yaad hai a lot of people jinke sath i was having a conversation <laughs> off the record you know how aghast i was when that was happening aghast absolutely <laughs> शर्म लोग है यार कोई मतलब शर्म ही नहीं रह गई है यार नो आई फील बैड फॉर देव नो आई फील बैड फॉर देवेंद्र फडणवीस बिकॉज आई थिंक genuinely after 2014 there was a lot of momentum with bjp in mumbai and i i think they had a chance maybe in a couple of elections to uh, get rid of people like him but anyways my uh, our our job is to comment on what what candidates the parties is mamle mein frustration nikalna banta hai as a mumbai ha na ne of course of course so i mean i the frustration is justified but i have to be like ki jaunpur mein kya hoga i think he'll win abhi abhi main maharashtra ke upar ek dedicated podcast karne wala hu ye mahine स्मिता से मेरी बात हो गई है स्मिता देशमुख से वहां पे मैं मेरी गोखले ब्रिज की फ्रस्ट्रेशन निकालने वाला हूँ सही है भाई क्या है गोखले ब्रिज in jaunpur is a very interesting seat because jaunpur is a seat that has gone back and forth so bjp has never won that seat twice in a row since 1989 they have always gone between bjp janata dal samajwadi party bjp bahujan samaj party bjp so it's it's like a it's like a 50 50 seat even in 2014 which was like the only time bjp won with a very comfortable 1 and a half lakh margin and that too because the sp bsp votes were divided in 2019 they again lost by about 90000 votes uh, mm. so it's a it's 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 a it's a, it's a very it's a, it's not a done deal seat is what i'm saying uh, a lot of people message me saying are varanasi ka to bole i was like varanasi is going to be the prime minister narendra modi is going to be of course the nominee of bjp and i guarantee you he'll probably beat the margin that he won by last time because uh, uh, if you go around and talk to anyone a, one it's a safe bjp seat uh, congress has only won it once in the last uh, 
30 plus years that was in 2004 you know and we all know what happened in 2004 it was a you know uh, it's a very strange sort of election in that but last time prime minister modi got 64% of the vote i expect that number is going to be probably even higher than 64% uh, because of the work and everything that's done uh, uh, there so anyways there's so there's that and um, uh, of the uh, of the Baranasi seat, but apart from that, in within UP and before we go to the next seat, which is we'll talk about, uh, we'll talk a little bit about Uttarakhand before we go to Maharashtra and Bihar. Um, these are not your old school um, new concept. Ke thirty percent MPs ko drop kar do. Or nay 30% MPs ko layao. These are tried and tested faces. These were all lumbi lace ke ghode, right? A couple of uh, uh, people that were uh, that were surprise picks, I thought, was uh, Dripendra Mishra, who is the private secretary to Prime Minister Narendra Modi, his son, uh, who you know was selected for IPS and then he went into investment banking, Sakit Mishra. He, he's a member of the uh, MLC, he's an MLC, and then he's go, uh, uh, going to be the candidate of BJP from Shravasti. Uh, another couple of imp- Interesting Jagdampika Pal, who used to be a lifelong Congress seat but has switched over to the BJP in 2014. Yeah, he's been with the BJP now. Huh, no, no, he's for 10 years. Yeah, no, no, my point was yeah. that he was uh, considered ki ye inko drop kar denge, but he actually uh, 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 kept uh, holds on to Domaria Ganj. Uh, Domaria Ganj, uh, he won as a Congress um, uh, MP in 2009, but he's basically won that seat and with a comfortable one lakh vote margin for the last. Uh, three Lok Sabhas. So it's a very, uh, very big thing. Um, And BJP nominated 51 uh, uh, things. Six are allies. So essentially 57 decision there are about 20 people 20 seats left I'll just go over a, a couple of crucial ones one is uh, Saharanpur uh, that's going to be a very tough uh, election for BJP Moradabad is going to be a tough one uh, Merat is going to be a, a crucial one as well we'll see uh, who uh, goes but Merat they have RLD so they it might be a little easier for them um, uh, the other interesting one is Onla say they have Dharmendra Kashyap that means Menaka Gandhi obviously is uh, not going to get uh, uh, a seat. Uh, she was uh, she was uh, the uh, she was the BJP candidate, I think, for from Sultanpur. I, if I, no, that was sorry. I'm sorry. That was Varun Gandhi. Uh, she was she was from uh, Pilibit and Sultanpur. They kept uh, going. I don't see Varun Gandhi being renominated as well uh, this time. Uh, so I will have to see who gets it. And from Rai Bareilly. Congress has nominated Priyanka Gandhi Vadra as I was expected. So now we'll have to see who will, uh, who BJP will get. I am actually going to say something, Kushal. Rai Bareilly is a 50 50 seat. I think BJP has a very solid chance uh, of upset, uh, taking Rai Bareilly from the Congress. What is interesting is, is I thought that Rahul Gandhi ko, uh, uh, chodi denge, uh, Congress wale, but they, they still have uh, kept Amethi. So we'll have to see uh, what happens. But Smriti Gandhi is on a, Smriti, I'm sorry, Smriti Irani is on a very strong wicket in Amethi. Yeah, I think she'll win Amethi. Yeah, absolutely. I think Rai Bareilly will win the BJP. Haan, but we have to see life. who the <laughs> we have to see who is their nominee because they have not uh, uh, revealed that yet. I hope it's I hope it's going to be a last minute sort of uh, thing. I if Menaka was give, going to be given a ticket, I would actually give it to Menaka Gandhi. If you want to win Pili Beach, who is going to win Pili Beach? That's what I'm saying. They haven't nominated yet. Mada so Varun, Gandhi, Pili Beach Var, milne wali Varun Gandhi has not been nominated yet. So uh, it's it's going to be it's a seat that BJP has backdoor negotiations. Chalu hoengi. Ah uh, yeah 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 absolutely. So uh, it, it's uh, Pilibit has been a non-Congress seat since 1984. Uh, yeah. It's been Mirka Gandhi who has won it as Janata Dal Independent. Parshuram Gangwar has won it and then Varun Gandhi has won. And uh, I mean, if she decides to contest as an independent, she it, it is going to be a factor. I'm not going to say that nothing will happen because there is uh, 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 there is that. Situation in Pilipit. So <clears throat> there's there's that situation in Uttar Pradesh. I personally think, based on the alliances and stuff, BJP is likely to get to that 60 65 mark again. 
to get to 70 it's going to be very tough i know some of the opinion polls are saying but i always keep saying this campaigning abhi shuru nahi hui hai and there are going to be a lot of last minute vote transfers within the bsp mm. sp congress so if the bjp has to get 70 seats they have to make inroads in like western up where the demographic is very against them because if there is a 30-35% Muslim uh, population in seat where there is a 90% consolidation then SP and Congress are starting at a base level of 28% or uske upar, they only need another 15% to win the seat so it's but so, but, uh, so Praveen ne, pra, Pradeep ne, sorry Pradeep Bhandari ne kya bola tha ki up to 35% Muslim percentage in a constituency actually now has a very high level Hindu consolidation and we have seen now this trend that the Muslim veto actually now up to 35% has been pretty much destroyed. But see, agreed, but that holds true especially for places like Bengal and stuff like that where the incumbent is not in power. UP is a very curious situation because Yogi is in power and Modi is in power. So sometimes you have that uh, uh, issue within the uh, within vote. So there is going to be you know your OBC vote, right? So yeah, division between your Yadav votes, division between your um, uh, uh, your Brahmin votes. Uh, uh, then uh, you're going to have the whole Thakur, Thakur vote situation. Uska consolidation kaise hota hai. But BJP has got its caste composition right. I will say this. They in the in the um, the 195 names, I think the significant there is a percentage of OBC population acknowledging the amount of votes that they have gotten. And one thing I'll say for sure before we get into the other states is for BJP to even get to 300, they need to have an 80% strike rate out of 195. They need to get at least 150 to 160. This is the ball game for BJP. These these are the seats: UP, Rajasthan, Bih uh, Gujarat, uh, Madhya Pradesh. Ch Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh, those seats in Bengal where you are the strongest, Assam, you need to get an 80% strike rate. Then if B if BJP gets anywhere less than 65 or 70%, then they are looking at uh, a, a 272-ish sort of number and not a simple majority uh, in the... Uh, uh, Basically, what are you saying, Malmai? What are you saying? What are you saying? These states, this is basically this region. This region. Central, central, well, west, Correct. north, yes, sir, northwest, ke, northwest. Ke, absolutely. So yeah. I, I'll, I'll, I'll give a, I'll give a crazy statistic in northwest India, and if if, if you go on Maharashtra, uh, Maharashtra, UP, Bihar, uh, your Punjab, not Punjab, Punjab, me they did well, but Himachal, Haryana, all, all of those states, Congress got a grand total of five seats or less than Fantastic. five seats. Last by time. the way, people don't know how total southern India maybe BJP has one MP more than Congress. <laughs> one MP more. And it will have more. We'll talk about that. My Tamil Nadu, yeah, I'm dying yeah. to talk about Tamil Nadu in Kerala. But my uh, point is the the reason Indian part Indian elections are a foregone conclusion is because the Congress party is a walking disaster. They got mm. five seats. That's it. They five seats where we, it was it was in a straight contest in a with the BJP in those states. Give to give you a comparison in 2004, where the Congress did better than the BJP, B Congress won 12 just from Gujarat, where right now they don't even look like winning any single seat. So all these all these uh, uh, sort of fiasco scenarios are because the Congress party is not even in the in the picture or in the running right now. So quickly moving on to Uttarakhand, which is north of UP, the uh, the five seats there, I think BJP is going to win 4-1 or 5-0. The only person that could cause a little bit of tr trouble is in that uh, Arish Rawat uh, wala seat. And that is only because of the whole Agniveer scheme and what is the impact because Uttarakhand has a lot of army uh, personnel and a lot of retired forges as well. And there are very um, sort of mixed bag reactions to the Agniveer scheme. So it will be either a 3-2 split at most for the Congress or a 4 or a 4-1. I am looking at a more like a 4-1 uh, split for the BJP. Uh, the three nominees that they have given, Malaya, Raji Lakshmi Shah, Ajay, uh, Ajay Tamta and Ajay Bhatt, all leaders of the BJP, Mala Raja Lakshmi Shah was the, uh, I think, wife of Man Manabendra Shah, the old uh, uh, BJP hand. He was the, I think, um, 
the raja if i'm not mistaken of that region and uh, he she won she won her seat last time as well so i think i expect that uh, she's going to do the same thing um, interestingly no no vijay bahuguna listed this time vijay bahuguna had joined the bjp uh, you know from the congress i don't know if he's going to be given a um, um, a seat uh, like a lok sabha seat and something i have not seen her his sister's name as well rita bahuguna joshi so far uh, I, so i don't know if that is going to happen if she's going to be given a uh, prayagraj wala seat where she did pretty well last time so there's going to be an interesting sort of situation with rita bahuguna mm-hmm. joshi as well so that's uttarakhand and uttar pradesh uh, now comes to the fun state kushal are you excited about this yes in maharashtra और हमारे जब भी मैं देखता हूँ शिप मुझे याद आता है लक्षदीप आई लव दैट मैन आई मीन ही शुड बी ऑलवेज बी देयर इन द पार्लियामेंट जस्ट फॉर हिज पंस एंड वन लाइनर्स रामदास आठावले जी की जय ऑफ कोर्स एग्जैक्टली सो हाउ आठावले जी गो या आई मीन BJP and three more allies. How the hell are they going to manage the seat? They can't. They can't. Yeah, so they will cut a deal like this. BJP will be like, assembly. Me, we will give you more seats. 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 so technically they are listed as bjp seats but unke nominee honge um, quite frankly bjp does not have 48 people to win all seats 48 nominees to have a serious challenge in all 48 seats of maharashtra there has there has only been one uh, pan maharashtra party ever and that has been the congress uh, bjp and shiv sena have always operated in small uh, areas of in areas of maharashtra and that's how their alliance has worked because they are complementary most areas of maharashtra uh of course after the breakup with uddhav thakre and then shinde coming over this is a very weird sort of um, uh, conundrum because you have the ajit pawar led which not a fan of ajit pawar led ncp and the kind of uh, nuisance mm. value that will bring the nda but you know it is what it is they've they've come up with the alliance uh the issue is going to honestly, be honestly i that- don't like the alliance but then i am not bjp right ah, exactly so, so the bjp will just tell me to shut up and sit in the corner <laughs> no i mean the, the fact is that they are going to get the maratha vote right that's where the uh, uh, ajit pawar's uh, strength is now the bjp strength in the same areas and bjp and ncp were a lot of uh, you know in a fight in marathwada and in western maharashtra was mm. in the non maratha vote right so what happens mm. to your card what happens to your face there are about four or five mps where there are sitting bjp mps and there are going to be demands made by shiv sena or uh, uh, ajit pawar's uh, uh, thing for them now when it comes to baramati or something obviously he's going to get aur tune note kiya na jo first list aayi hai usme ek seat bhi maharashtra se ek seat bhi nahi hai maharashtra se aur ek seat bhi maharashtra se nahi hai matlab zordar batting chalu hai har side se ha and i don't even think bihar se ek bhi hui hai if i'm not mistaken let me check uh, uh, maharashtra se nahi hui hai ha shayad bihar se bhi nahi hui hai ha bihar ha nahi hui hai so i was looking at that basically your two biggest allies of the nda happen to be in maharashtra and bihar which constitute 90 seats and there has not been a single nominee jor jordar negotiations chalu hai jordar and your third ally is in karnataka waha bhi ek bhi seat nahi hui hai karnataka mein bhi negotiations chalu hai so the only difference is with mr devegowda i don't know if it's seat negotiations or financial negotiations we'll find out more when mm. the seats, seats come out in karnataka but the fact is i think seat the, and financial negotiations are interrelated <laughs> exactly the fact is 
तीनों मिला के एक सौ अठारह एक सौ अठारह सीट है ट्वेंटी एट फोर्टी टू एंड फोर्टी फोर्टी एट इट्स अ वेरी वेरी हाई नंबर काम करना महाराष्ट्र एंड गोवा दोनों को कर लेना फिर चलो विल डू महाराष्ट्र एंड गोवा बोथ ऑफ देम महाराष्ट्र एंड मराठवाड़ा रीजन दी अदर इज योर बॉम्बे थाने बेल्ट थर्ड इज योर नॉर्दर्न महाराष्ट्र रीजन विच इज नियर द बॉर्डरिंग मध्य प्रदेश गुजरात एंड सो फॉर एंड फोर्थ इज वेस्टर्न एक्सट्रीमली वेल इन दी एन सी आर रीजन विच इज मुंबई थाने भिवंडी you can even go up to pune they will do well there mm-hmm. in some regions in kokan they will do well their problem is vidarbha or in that region v- vidarbha se bhi zyada marathwada is going to be a big problem marathwada agar uh, ncp hai na ha uh, nahi oh I, i have to ask you something uh, what what makes what how do you feel about the great ashok chavan joining the bjp dekha bhi aisa hai ki when i look at kripa shankar singh joining bjp uh, तब तो सब नॉर्मल लगता है। आई मीन बोल रहा है बोले क्या बोलने का अभी ठीक है हाँ नहीं नहीं आई एम जस्ट लाफिंग यार दर्द पीड़ा का कोई इलाज नहीं है अभी बीजेपी किसी को भी ले लेती है अभी हाँ नहीं मतलब अशोक चौहान तो यार क्या है यार क्या ही बोले अशोक जी का तो हाँ अभी दिल को ऐसे सिर्फ चुभाते रहते हैं लोग ऐसे रोज एक सुई मारते हैं बीजेपी वाले हाँ uh so uh, uh and i mean quite frankly ashok chavan's uh, as was shocking but he would provide at least bjp being a factor in the nanded uh, uh bhokar you know latur region uh, latur of course since vilas rao deshmukh um, congress has always struggled people don't talk how significant of a blow it was even sharad pawar leaving the congress and forming the ncp was not as much of a blow to them as vilas rao deshmukh's death was in 2012 um i have not been a fan of the man's politics but cannot deny that since till he was there the bjp and sena have only formed the government once till when mm. vilas rao was alive in 95 to 99 they have not they have not formed in alliance ha lok sabha mein unko 28 20 aate the but even then apart from 95 and 1999 even in lok sabha the congress used to never stop being a factor uh, he knew when to do these strategic alliances 2019 mein when 2009 mein when bjp sena looked like they would storm back to power raj thakre comes in as a spoiler and stuff so by the way there are rumors that raj thakre also wants something in the nda so i i, I don't know oh yaar matlab how how will he be accommodated you explain how many votes does he bring on the table we have uh-huh. to answer that question right raj raj thakre uh, raj thakre i mean i like him as an orator i'm personally a fan boy whenever he speaks i love only it oratory, i only watch, oratory and i don't watch raj thakre if he speaks in hindi by the way raj thakre speaks very well in hindi also but yeah. raj thakre is at his brilliant best when he is speaking in marathi i understand marathi completely this is my Same. home state so i mean I always like every time Raj Thakre is on TV, I'm like Marathi me bol please, Marathi me bol please. It's so much fun to listen to it. Yes, it is. I'm. I I I I will not. I will not deny that. It is. It is. It's a lot of fun to listen to uh, him in Marathi. No, or they go Thakre. Is for me that's a natural sort of uh, thing also, na. That the 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 the. I I shouldn't say Thakre. He has God level oratory. Ha, he has inherited Thakre the legacy of Bala Saheb Thakre, na. So that is that God is the God-level oratory. God-level oratory. <laughs> that is the reason why you uh, see the whole uh, uh, Thakre family uh, uh, advantage coming to that. So, <clears throat> but having said that, let's let's look at Maharashtra. So, Raj Thakre is only a factor in the Mumbai Belt, Mumbai Konkan Belt, right? So let's let me talk Mumbai Konkan Belt. BJP is on its strongest wicket there because there. when uddhav went the whole debate was whether they are going to get the marathi marathi vote in the thane kalyan region and the north the mumbai way, region or not because you named uddhav thakre ji what if i told you udhar bhi batting chalu hai piche se ha ha matlab wo to koi 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 sharam nahi reh gayi hai abhi is system mein matlab uddhav thakre se bhi feelers aa rahe hain aur yahan se bhi feelers ja rahe hain nahi par kuch hoga bjp bjp mein kuch bhi chalu hai is samay 
इफ यू आस्क मी कुछ होगा नहीं बिकॉज उद्धव ठाकरे उद्धव ठाकरे इज अद्धव ठाकरे इज अ स्ट्रेंज गाय लाइक द थिंग इज देर इज टू मच बैड ब्लड दैट इज बीन स्पिल्ड बिटवीन द बीजेपी एंड उद्धव ठाकरे सो दैट्स वाई आई फील कुछ वहां पे होगा नहीं वॉट आई अंडरस्टैंड इट इज मिस्टर अमित शाह एंड उद्धव ठाकरे फैमिली नाउ हैव स्टॉप गेटिंग अलॉन्ग सो Well, yeah, no, that's that's what broke up the alliance if, because if, of the if, whole. If Mr. Shah, if Mr. Shah doesn't like someone, uh, hmm. from my experience of the BJP is, bro, you're not getting anywhere. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ms. Well, Mr. Then Mr. Mr. Modi has to really like that person to supersede Mr. Shah. Otherwise, Mr. Modi usually listens to Mr. Shah. Yeah, yeah, I absolutely. Uh, uh, I mean, no, not just that. So. <clears throat> if you look at if you look at the if you look at the situation in maharashtra uh, he mr shah was in mumbai today he was with asha bosle right now a few minutes ago where she was uh, you know there was a clip about her sweetly asha tai singing a song and stuff uh, if if indeed he was in a flat in pedder road waha se na to na to varsha banglo bahut dur hai where he can go and talk to shinde about accommodating uddhav na to dadar us side pe thoda itna dur hai where he can go and talk to uddhav thakre near matushri so uh, if if mr shah wanted to make that trip to uh, uh, dadar or varsha banglo or uh, uh, you know where uh, wherever ajit pawar's lobby is there are Is, uh, he can make it happen, but unfortunately, uh, uh, for Uddhav Thakre, I don't think he's even in the first priority of the BJP folks there. So, <clears throat> having said that, let's let's look at let's look at a little bit of perspectives now from uh, like a long term perspective. की बात करते हैं from in terms of B- what BJP in Maharashtra means, right? BJP in Maharashtra was at its highest in two thousand two thousand nineteen. when bjp and sena essentially swept the state and reduced congress to one seat and ncp to i think four seats or something like that um in maharashtra there are small small players also like uh, that vanchit bahujan aghadi hitendra thakur's party there is this prakash ambedkar there is this uh, uh, hatkangle wala seat where shetkari swabhimani sanghathana and uh, uh, you know raju shetty all the, all all those are one one players and and the people would do strategic alliances with all that now bjp and sena had so gotten to a point where those strategic alliances were only in like for a few vidhan sabha seats but they had slowly become that alliance their splitting up meant that bjp lost a lot of ground which it got by default uh, bjp was obviously the senior most partner there but devendra fadnavis then becoming number 2 in this government has also ensured that he is not you know in a lot of in the chief ministerial decisions and so forth now people may argue that mr fadnavis might be the what bala saheb thakre was in 1995 with the remote control in this government and i hope that is the case because he's a good man i hope he gets he, i hope ne- he gets a, never underestimate devendra fadnavis i don't i don't i'm actually I'm, 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 that's what that's my point is i think or, he or is going my to my people in maharashtra would say fadnavis ha uh, fadnavis yes uh, so he is going to push for 30 seats um, and uh, and and so forth and uh, i don't know how far is he going to get with that but i personally think the magic number for bjp might be about 28 or something uh, ki they'll get about 28 seats to fight on and then um, what's his name the shinde sena gets about 7 or 8 seats and ajit pawar gets about 8 seats uh, ajit pawar they're saying is not budging from 10 but that's that's the that's my split if that happens bjp uh, yaar yeah, ajit pawar is honestly between you and i abhi hmm. alliance partner hai he is fair to ask 10 10 seats here it's not unfair i i'm being straight up honest with you it's fair for him to ask for 10 seats itna to lega hi na yaar ha ha of course like he does not get the maratha vote na he does get the maratha vote correct he does he does and the thing is ajit pawar gets votes where neither shinde nor bjp can get it so that is the difference na ki uh, how 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 are you going to how are you going to deal with uh, how are you going to deal with that because there is going to be internal rumblings within cadres also about how to deal with ajit pawar right so <clears throat> there are those two things and now <clears throat> looking at a sort of a, 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 a thoda if you come back and look at a, a, a larger picture when it comes to this ajit pawar also happens to be uh, also happens to be in this way where he can cause more damage in 15 seats then he can bring you advantage in 8 seats so bjp has to do that with them having tied up with ajit pawar they cannot now 
uh, talk trash about him the same way they did in the previous elections. So they'll have mm. to they'll have to manage that expectations as well. So <clears throat> ultimately, I think uh, uh, that is. I think thing. it will be now, converted to the pra- pra- personality of Mr. Modi. Right. Nothing else. Now, now here is the thing. I think Baramati is in play this time because Ajit Pawar is is there. Uh, Ajit Pawar is your uh, was your Shivpal Singh Yadav of the NCP. Uh, last time there was a seat called uh, Madha. Which Sharad Pawar won in 2009, and uh, Vijay Singh Mohite Patil was given that seat in who was the deputy CM in 2014, and he won that seat in you know the BJP wave. Uh, BJP wave. Um, BJP gave that seat to Sadabhau Ghot, who was a uh, you know the SWP, the Swabhim- the Swabhimami Paksha, uh, uh, basically as I was talking about. They. <coughs> They bear, they they came to within two percent, but in 2019, Vijay Singh Mohit Patil flips over to the BJP and Ranjit Singh Naik Nimbalkar actually wins that seat. So Madha, I think, is I would uh, put BJP in chance, but Baramati with uh, um, which is the old, uh, which is the rivalry of Maharashtra. I have heard people in Maharashtra BJP and Central BJP saying, "Hum Baramati jitenge." I'm like, mm-hmm. wait, what? <laughs> they yeah, are yeah. Yeah, yeah. They, I, and they, 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 these are not people who are faffing these are serious people no no I, I i completely agree i okay kusha let me put it this way there there the chances of them winning baramati are more than the chances of their them winning say, last time also oh, like, margin itna bada nahi tha loss ka huh? So I think I think they will they, they have a full chance of winning Baramati Lok Sabha. So uh, mm-hmm. also in the Konkan region, and I should have gone to Konkan, but we jumped to the Marathwada belt. But Konkan region, Narayan Rani is in the BJP, another <laughs> person from the Congress. Yeah, but he Sina. gets votes in that region. No, yeah. no, no, no. But Narayan Rani, no, no, Narayan Rani is understandable. His going to the Congress was a shocker. Not his coming back to the alliance. Narayan Rane was a like Narayan Rane CM. Was he was the CM of Maharashtra as a Shiv Sainik. And the only reason why Congress uh, and so hated was Rane within the Thakre family for going to the Congress that it is rumored. And again, I'm going to say allegedly because you know we don't want to get sued for this. Um, Mr. Tha- allegedly, it was said the support that the Congress got for uh, Pratibha Patil. Or Pradam Mukherjee and a couple of others was Vilasarao's way of negotiating and ensuring that Narayan Rane never ever becomes the CM of Maharashtra. So that was the carrot they used to dangle that usko center mein rakhenge, we will never make him the CM. And Shiv Sena has to give some strategic support to the Congress. That's what my sources within uh, uh, the Maharashtra Journalism Society have told me. So you can ask and, and, uh, and see what people say. But so that's the history. So then I'm going to go down to Konkan, down to Goa, because we talked about Goa. Uh, <clears throat> Goa has two seats. One is Goa North and the other is Goa South. And that is like literally two seats are divided across demographics. Goa oh, North is more... BJP <laughs> No, Goa, Goa South is Goa South. Me last time hare the wo log because uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, no, abhi to the yeah North Goa me to right now uh, there are twenty Vidhan Sabhas. Uh, B- BJP owns uh, I shouldn't say owns BJP won seventeen out of those twenty, yeah. and one of them went to their ally and. <clears throat> The Shripad Nayak has uh, won that seat, but it, it used to be called Panaji Lok Sabha till 2004, yeah. then North yeah. Goa. But Shripad Nayak has won that seat since 1999. So, and I don't see that uh, changing this time as well. Uh, Shripad Nayak won Goa, mein jahan margins bohat kam hote. Shripad Nayak won, wins that seats by 80, between 80,000 and 1 lakh votes. Last time, in, jo seat hare the Goa ki uska margin. Thik. Ha, so South Goa is very interesting. South Goa is about um, 40, 40, 35 to 40 percent Christian vote. Uh, but what people forget is Manohar Parikar did a lot of outreach within the Christian community. Uh, there were four or five MLAs. They still are from the BJP that are Christians who have won on BJP tickets from South Goa. Uh, and Francisco Sardinia, who is an old face uh, 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 from you know from the Congress, and then. 
I think he may have him or Eduardo Falerio, basically, who was the other MLA. He joined the Trinamool Congress and then came back. And or no, not Eduardo. I'm sorry. Um, I think it was uh, someone from Goa actually joined Luzinho. I'm sorry, Luzinho joined the uh, Trinamool Congress, and I think their that uh, Rajya Sabha seat was given. But Francisco Sardinia won the seat by twenty uh, ten thousand votes, very narrow margin against Narendra Savalkar. Uh, Narendra Savalkar in 2014 won that seat by thirty thousand votes. So right now it's again going to be a very close margin it again it's going to be a 20 30000 margin so whoever it is uh, that is the south goa nominee so north goa nominee has already been declared it's going to be shripad naik again south goa they have not declared the they nominee declare yet karenge uske liye wo fight chalu hai ha so the the debate and the discussion is still going on um <clears throat> I think whoever it is, they have their task cut out because uh, one, they'll have to work with the local Goa uh, BJP. Local Goa BJP, maybe there have been a lot of people taken from the Congress. Christian, go then, Achy. I don't think that will happen. I know. Lok Sabha, maybe. Hindu, to vote hi vote kar denge na. To Christian ko seat do na. To Christian ko shayad vote kar denge Christian. Ah, yeah, I don't know. I don't. Or maine bol diya itni mere ko bhayankar galiyan padengi iske liye. Kadar. Okay, baaz. Well, no, I think no, 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 no. That was the that was the logic and which which um, in Patanam Titta it was given to Anil Anthony because Patanam Titta was a seat that BJP had 31 percent in Kerala and uh, they were the threshold was 32, 31 to 32. You give it to Anil Anthony, you know, Christian leader. Hope he gets about 10 percent of the Christian vote along with your vote and then you win the seat. I sincerely really? hope Anil wins. I am very fond of Anil. He's a very yeah. Nice no, I guy. saw your I saw your uh, uh, discussion with him. Excellent. I mean, he's a good man. And I know uh, personally, he's a very good man. I I sincerely yeah. hope he wins. His heart is in the right place. And please, I want to say, हम लोग हम लोग वो दो नहीं है कि भाई जो भी कांग्रेस से आएगा बीजेपी में Anil के लिए देखो Anil के लिए मैंने अच्छी चीजें बोली कृपा शंकर के लिए भी बोली अशोक चौहान के लिए नहीं बोली ना नहीं सेम आई हैव नो प्रॉब्लम ज्योति राधित्य और मिलिंद देवरा कमिंग I think they're genuinely good people मिलिंद तो यार मैं तेरे को प्राइवेटली कितनी बार बोल चुका हूं मिलिंद को ले लेना चाहिए अरे आई एम सिस्ट आज मैं बोल रहा हूं मनीष तिवारी को पंजाब बीजेपी में ले लेना चाहिए ही वुड बी अ ग्रेट एडिशन आई एम सो फॉन्ड ऑफ मनीष तिवारी आल्सो हां नहीं बट एक्चुअली मिलिंद 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 माइट हैव अ बेटर चांस आई वुड रादर मिलिंद देन कृपा शंकर सिंह अरे मिलिंद तो गया ना राज्यसभा में मिलिंद तो गया ना राज्यसभा अब वो गया राज्यसभा में बट आई आई एम टेलिंग यू दोस आर दोस आर द टू ऑप्शंस और एनीवेज बट you know i digress let's coming back to uh, coming back to maharashtra and then we'll wrap up uh, maharashtra and then go to the other states the western maharashtra is where it gets in the vidarbha region is where it gets a little uh, western maharashtra to bath obviously the vidarbha region is where it gets a little curious because you have the nagpur vardha all those seats right typically bjp has done very strong under devendra fadnavis by the way they haven't even declared the nominee for nagpur and i thought they would at least for nagpur because it's nitin gadkari unless and until they are thinking something else so a high profile seat thi jo aapke top 5 mein ek hai uska to nominee kar deti declare but they have not even declared that so <clears throat> when it comes to that um, there are a few there are, there are a few question marks that are going to be asked ki un seaton se un seaton se kaun ladega bjp mein se because uh, last time BJP swept and in Shiv Sena, Shiv Sena has not been very good in uh, in that region. So if you even look at the map, right? B, uh, BJP, BJP का आपको giant cluster दिखेगा. Mumbai area में that see you'll see a big fifty uh, fifty split. So whether that uh, in those in those seats, it's BJP does that you know in Amravati, Vardha, Ramtek, Nagpur, who they who they get. That's that's going to be the then there is another seat Bhandara Gondia where BJP has actually worked really well and done well but that is Praful Patel's old seat that's in the heart of Vidar so <laughs> what what will they do there which Praful Patel going to ask for that seat and then there is uh, Amravati which was given to which was won by an independent last time right so this time there is going to be another debate ki, where will that independent go will she go in some other seat so it's it's going to be a, it's going to be a very uh, very hard fight and I I would not write Sharad Pawar out completely. If there is one person I never write out of politics, it is Sharad Pawar. He is literally he has managed to stay relevant for some bizarre reason, in whatever way, shape, or form. And so he will do all sorts of strategic alliances and stuff. And if Uddhav 
Sharad Pawar and the Congress get their act together. Maharashtra is actually going to be BJP's most formidable challenge. I don't see this as a BJP sweep at all. I completely disagree with the opinion poll survey. So far, from what my sources have told me from the ground and everything, it is going to be BJP's in the advantage, obviously. But it, it is like 30 to 32 seats going to the NDA and 16 to 18 seats going to the, uh, the uh, India or UP or whatever alliance they are calling themselves now by. Mm. That is that is my perspective uh, on this. Of course, once we go to the uh, election or candidates ka naam aayega to pata chalega. But <clears throat> having followed Maharashtra politics from the for a long time, uh, mera matlab dil matlab dimag chakkar kha gaya when I see some people uh, uh, crossing party lines and stuff. Uh, and when we talk to Gujarat, I'll have a full rant about Arjun Modhwadia because I cannot believe that man's going to join. Uh-huh. The <laughs> that is so much fun. Aha, uh-huh. but aise 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 log uh, logon ne join kiya, you know. Uh, so and, and in cases where you have. Um, the uh, father-in-law uh, in Congress and the daughter-in-law in BJP. I was like, what are you going to do with this? I was like, what are you going to do with this? I was like, what are you going to do with this? I actually feel, and I'll, we'll talk about that, uh, it's a little bit sad also for the RSS Kader. Look, if you don't have to cover all states, you have to do a job. So, if you think that this will be better than your opinion, then in part one, we do some states and the rest of the other states are small states. पार्ट टू में करते हैं और कुछ बड़ी स्टेट्स नहीं तो हम ये चार घंटे भी खत्म नहीं होगा चार घंटे हाँ, भी खत्म अभी नहीं। तो मैं बिहार में गया भी नहीं हूँ सो so... हाँ इसलिए मैं बोल रहा हूँ तो अपन क्या करते हैं कि ये वन पार्ट टू पार्ट थ्री करके हर एक स्टेट ओके ओके सो चलो वी वी टॉक्ट अबाउट यूपी महाराष्ट्र एंड स्टफ वॉट आई कैन डू इज वी कैन टॉक अबाउट बिहार झारखंड बंगाल no, 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 no. So that's what I'm saying. We we can talk about we can talk about the we'll talk about the candidates that BJP has uh, uh, already come out uh, with. So for Bengal, Rajasthan, and Gujarat, we can talk about them now because half the candidates are out. The others, mm. which are not released yet, uh, I know Maharashtra ki baat kar li. We'll talk a little bit more when the candidates are out. But Karnataka, Andhra, uh, you know, all of Telangana, Bihar, Jharkhand, we can talk in the next part of the podcast. So. Mm. So you okay? Let me start with Bengal, and then I'll go to Rajasthan and Gujarat. Bengal is the most curious election of all. It has. Do you think Sandesh Khali will have uh, an impact? It not more than any localized impact. I don't see. Okay, here is the thing. People who are very mad about Sandesh Khali. By the way, I believe everyone should be angry about Sandesh Khali. It is Obviously, horrendous. Every what is human happened. being should be. But you know, there are many people who are not, uh, uh, you know, expressing. Everyone who is mad about Sandesh Khali was anyways voting for BJP or not voting for Mamta Banerjee. What you have to ask yourself is, are the people that are going to be voting for Mamta Banerjee, regardless of what happens, are going to switch their votes? And I don't see that. I honestly don't. Ha! Huh, there are a few swing voters that'll go left, right, and center and stuff. Um, but overall, I think BJP is back to its 2019 strength. I think BJP is in a very strong position to win about 18 seats. Prime Minister Modi is very popular. He was in Bengal today. He was um it was extremely popular uh, there. The way they're talking about Kolkata, BJP is actually in a factor in a few Kolkata seats, I think. In Kolkata North, it's a huge factor because there is a significant Gujarati and Marwadi population there as well. And uh, <clears throat> typically, uh, you know, historically, there have been a lot of uh, uh, sort of uh, BJP voters there. But unfortunately, what has happened is that um, in the last minute, there is always uh, some sort of setting. So you have the Kolkata uh, Uttar region where all um, uh, you know Sudip Bandopadhyay is doing uh, is doing is you know old face doing pretty well. He used to win by sort of a very 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 big margin. That B- BJP cut it down to a one lakh votes in the last uh, uh, two elections. But the left, the CPIM still got about uh, 2 lakh votes in 2014 and 80,000 votes there. So does the left vote go to Mamta? Last time it went to Mamta. Or does the left vote come to BJP? That's what we have to see. Rahul Sina is your old BJP face or something. Um, Simple, so are the, Hindus in Bengal sufficiently polarized? It all boils down to that. Correct. Absolutely. Uh, and it would be uh, Kolkata. Uh, another interesting one is Kolkata Dakshin. If uh, if Kolkata uh, Kolkata Dakshin would go to BJP, it would be a very emotional seat because that is the seat that Shama Prasad Mukherjee won from in 1952. Who, yes. So as Kolkata, it was Kolkata Southeast at that time. So there is that. <coughs> Where BJP's 
core competence in bengal is um, in in the regions next to uh, bihar in the northern region of bengal uh, places where what pradeep was saying you know 30 35% muslim population you saw a lot of so north bengal was a complete sweep for bjp uh, west bengal west of west bengal and uh, a, a couple of pockets on the east were a complete sweep and mamata uh, swept the south and the north uh, the northeast portion so that it, it bengal was is completely in clusters like matlab aisa tha bhi nahi ki beech mein se ek do seats yahan yahan gayi hai and stuff and what bjp has to ask now this time is who are their nominees and like what are they going to do i saw their faces there are some pretty good faces some old hands uh, no, you know nishit pramanik uh, from kuch bihar who won it last time he is going to be doing that um, the debate about the uh, with asensol nominee now apparently he has withdrawn himself and someone else is going to be <laughs> the thing locket chatterjee is another factor in hogli um, jadavpur is a very very interesting seat uh, anirban ganguly another uh, uh, good friend of mine i uh, you know i be hoping for anirban da to win um, <clears throat> it's a good man has taken on mamta for a long time um, you have bashir ghat which there is another chance for bjp maldaha uttar khagen murumu again a very interesting uh, uh, choice from maldaha uttar last time mausam noor won it it's a it's a seat with uh, you know significant muslim population but <clears throat> last time i'm sorry kagen murumu won it in 2019 uh, mausam noor won it in 2014 so uh, uh, kagen murumu again won it by 6% so again a very very good choice so there are there are some very uh, 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 interesting seats there where i expect bjp to um, get at least 40 45% maybe more and may in that may the suvendu adhikari uh, suvendu adhikari uh's name and then um, and then the ghatal seat because ghatal is another seat where bjp uh, uh, bjp can go and uh, basically um, <clears throat> spring some surprise right because uh, right now deepak adhikari won that seat as dev by like 1 lakh votes but i think it is ripe for bjp to do that and if the most shocking part was in 2014 mohammad alam was given that seat and uh, bjp just had 94000 votes in 2019 they went from 94000 to 6 lakh 10000 polarization bhai polarization, polarization. exactly so if wahi bol raha hu na certain Mus- parts of bengal in 2019 <coughs> were polarized i right. anticipate a little more polarization in 2024 which mm. is why i think it will reflect in two to three extra seats in the favor of bjp in bengal exactly and and i'm telling you uh, there are two to uh, two to three extra bjp matlab ho sakta i am not saying it's not possible but i am saying it is atra thi they're... last time bjp ko atra mili thi na 18 huh. they got they'll get up to 20 yeah i think they'll uh, 20 to 22 i think bjp can can get in bengal they are already at 18 they in my opinion they are already at 18 they only need to get uh, uh, two more if they get if they get to that or not so and there's there's that uh, so so bengal is going to be interesting but uh, but the newer areas of bengal where which are ripe is the southern area of bengal which is calcutta your hugli belt and stuff where i hope that you know uh, bjp get some uh, last minute sort of uh, uh, help on those uh, uh, on those areas so it's very interesting uh, to see uh, uh, so to see this sort of charge within the bjp how that come how that happens in the long term remains to be seen but uh, so far it's good news for the bjp absolutely yeah yeah so bengal uh, like i said was very interesting for me for many reasons now mm-hmm. let's discuss bihar and uh, bihar uh, then we'll do bihar and then we will uh, because i think depending on the time we can do one more state maybe hmm Okay. No, I think Bihar we should keep it for next time because एक बार seats आ जाए. What I can do is I can Then talk Bihar about नहीं. the I can talk about Madhya Pradesh and Chhattis. नहीं 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 Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Rajasthan, Gujarat का वो जो cluster है ना जहाँ seats declare हो गई है. I can talk about that cluster and then we'll talk about Tamil Nadu Bihar when the seats are declared. Uh, I, I, but we'll end with a little bit of Tamil Nadu Kerala thing because I want to talk uh, ki, uh, where, where the gains have happened. So it, it won't be a seat by seat discussion. वो next hmm. podcast में करेंगे. so let's look at the the cluster that is the strongest for the bjp uh, madhya pradesh gujarat and rajasthan basically congress ka safaya ho gaya tha 2019 mein to the point where they only had one seat the republic of chindwara 
कमलनाथ की सीट इन मध्य प्रदेश एंड नथिंग एल्स छत्तीसगढ़ की सारी सीट सभी uh, भी हो गई है सो वील यू नो वी कैन वी कैन डिस्कस दैट बट एटलीस्ट लेट मी टॉक अबाउट मध्य प्रदेश एंड स्टफ फर्स्ट मध्य प्रदेश इज वेयर I think the BJP has opted for tried and tested faces over um, completely new faces. The biggest face, obviously, and someone I'm extremely happy to see is Shivraj Singh Chauhan, Mama Ji, fighting yeah, from Mama Ji is back. I think the, Mama Ji will win and minister will be. ये बड़ी clear अभी अभी समझ गए हैं. हाँ नहीं दिस इज एन ओल्ड मामा जी सीट विदिशा इज वेयर ही वाज़ द नॉमिनी फ्रॉम एंड वो नहीं बोल रहा था अभी लोगों को समझ नहीं आ रहा था कि चीफ मिनिस्टर नहीं बनाया भाई इसके लिए नहीं बनाया उनको बोल दिया था वो तो मिनिस्टर बनाएंगे तो अभी अभी तो ये इतना ऑब्वियस है कि वो मिनिस्टर बनेंगे अगर नहीं बने अभी मोदी जी पार्ट क्या सुनेंगे जस्ट टू एफ विद कुशल मैं इनको मिनिस्टर नहीं बनाऊंगा हाँ कुशल uh, जी के कुशल जी की वजह से मामा जी का मंत्री जी कट गया <laughs> मंत्री पद कट गया सो बट आई थिंक दैट इज द मोस्ट नेचुरल आउटकम आई एम अज्यूमिंग कि मामा जी को मिनिस्ट्री में डालेंगे No, no, absolutely. That is the most natural outcome, and I, I, I personally think that will definitely happen. And the, and, and the reason it will happen is because BJP needs that old, those old hands. I personally was thinking that Shahid Vasundra ko bhi. बीजेपी का बीजेपी सीएम या ऐसा कुछ करेंगे बट आई डोंट सी वसुंधरा राजे का हैपनिंग बट हाउ एवर दुष्यंत हैज बीन गिवन अ सीट दैट मींस दैट यू नो देर इज सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ पैच अप और अग्रीमेंट दैट हैज हो गया ना हाँ कम सो आई थिंक दैट वुड मीन दैट राजस्थान दे आर स्वीपिंग अगेन दे आर लुकिंग एट एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी टू और ट्वेंटी थ्री अ नंबर आउट ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव इफ नॉट ऑल ट्वेंटी फाइव देवनली गिवन फिफ्टीन सीट्स बिकॉज अभी इनिशियल डिस्कशन चल रहे बट देर आर सम वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग फेसेज यू नो सी पी जोशी फ्रॉम चित्तौड़गढ़ Om Birla, of course, gets nominated. Gajendra Singh Shekhawat the, is the current minister from Jodhpur. I think they should all win. Um, uh, Alwar and say P P Chaudhary, and then you have Sumedhanan Saraswati from Sikar. Again, they are all uh, the uh, the curious one was Churu because Churu may they have nominated a Paralympic athlete called Devendra Jajaria, and the sitting MP actually went on Twitter to <clears throat> express that he was. Um, Discomfort, his discomfort over his choice. Now, Churu was a seat that his father had won, and that went to him. Um, I have a bit of a controversial take, uh, Kushal, on this. If you are an MP, if you are a mass leader or something, right? You should be. I mean, India should ultimately get. And if you are unbeatable in the seat, BJP will give you a ticket. But if your performance has not been what they expect in 10 years because 10 years is a heck of a long time i am sorry there is no excuse so yes uh, uh, them ranting about it on twitter <clears throat> it's freedom of expression they can do whatever the heck they want but i'm just saying that i 10 years is a long long time so i when people are saying are 10 saal diye do terms diye yaar you can do a heck of a lot in 10 years if the prime minister who has a million things to do his constituency can be changed so much right you are getting the mp lad fund if you are not the minister your motivation is to fix the constituencies but a lot of people started taking their place within the bjp complacently and so they have lost their sort of uh, position in the packing order so there is rajasthan um <laughs> and then we'll come to gujarat Gujarat is uh, no names are a bit of कोई देख कोई भी लड़ा दो ना सारी सीट्स तो वही जीतेंगे ना मतलब गुजरात में तो ऐसा वो बेचारे गुजरातियों का हाल ये है ना उनको बीजेपी मतलब ऐसा है ना बोलती है अरे यार मोदी जी और शाह है ना चलो हम तो वोट ही करने वाले मतलब उधर क्या गुजराती अस्मिता आ जाती है कि हमारा प्रधानमंत्री तो आना ही चाहिए तो मतलब कई बार मैं सोचता हूँ कि उधर है ना गुजरात अभी कैसा हो गया जिसका कोई नहीं उसका तो गुजरात है यारो जिसको एडजस्ट करना है उसको गुजरात में डाल दो क्यों बेचारे गुजराती इतने डेडिकेटेड लोग हैं बीजेपी को जीता नहीं पर पर गुजरात में इस बार हल्के में नहीं लिया बीजेपी ने दे हैव नॉमिनेटेड अ लॉट ऑफ देयर सीनियर फेसेस हु आई एक्सपेक्टेड वुड बी राज्यसभा सीट्स परशोत्तम मकवाना देन मंसूर मकवाना को दिया यस परशोत्तम सॉरी नॉट मकवाना आई एम सॉरी परशोत्तम रूपाला देन नहीं वो दूसरा मकवाना है ना एक एक मकवाना भी है उसमें 
हाँ नहीं दैट्स अ डिफरेंट वन नो 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 परशुतम भाई रूपाला मनसुख मांडविया ही हैज बीन गिवन पूनम मैन मादम हैज बीन रिपीटेड मनसुख मांडविया को तो मिलेगा ही ना तो और कौन मिलेगा देखो नहीं देयर नहीं मनसुख मांडविया को तो वो राज्यसभा में भी ला सकता है बट दीज आर दीज आर मनसुख दीज आर अगर राजकोट से देना है लोकसभा का नशा अलग है राज्यसभा नहीं हां एग्जैक्टली सो यू सो यू हैव मनसुख मांडविया एंड परशुतम रूपाला देन देयर इज अ Devusi Chauhan given from Kheda there is a thing there are only 3 seats in Gujarat where there is even a remote chance four seats if i want to be generous because congress and aam aadmi party are in alliance this time one is bharuch um <coughs> where uh, aam aadmi party actually had a couple of mlas and stuff like that so uh, uh, they they um, it, it's going to be interesting and even when they fought separately so um, uh, there is an area called dedia pada where chaitar bhai vasawa won it's a part of uh, baruch lok sabha uh, constituencies and is the only aap party uh, is the only mla to win uh, <coughs> out of the others that used to be a bjp seat um so that um, that baruch seat is going to be an interesting one um, last time last time bjp of course won baruch by 3 lakh votes they won every single seat by 3 lakh votes mansukh bhai wasawa so uh, we'll have to see what they do but last time also congress gave a muslim fate face a ticket sher khan pathan so and i don't know how it went with uh, so and they've done this one election they'll give it to a muslim one election they'll give it to a hindu uh, the two election where there has been a muslim face nominated in bharuj congress has gotten 3 lakh votes the one election it hasn't been in the last 3 it has got 4 lakh votes so <laughs> you can see which way congress is going right <laughs> then i i mean <laughs> these are st- data studies so this time they have given chaitar wasawa who's a sitting mp he's been given because aap is in uh, and the other is banaskatha banaskatha has over 20% muslim population banaskatha also has uh, 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 a significant um, uh, thakur population thakur population is typically gone to it with the congress uh, <laughs> there have been some inroads made by modi and shah uh, lately so those are two of the seats and the other two is amreli amreli is the one seat where they got really close in 2014 and the other uh, <clears throat> so it's amreli banas kantha uh, uh, bharuch and then if i really really want to you know uh, ho- clutch at straws here maybe they can talk about dahod uh, <laughs> dahod is an old congress seat too but other than that i don't see any chance for congress in any they, they, they it i'll be surprised if it's even a 25-1 because bjp has won uh, very massively dahod last time in 2022 even in the bjp wave out of their seven mlas um three went to the congress and uh, dahod in 2019 congress that was one of the few seats where congress lost by 1 lakh votes that was the closest margin 1.2 lakh votes otherwise they lost everything else by 3 3 and a half lakh votes so dahod is an old uh, uh, you know thing so we'll have to see who um, who does it so um, let's see and it's interesting times but i'll tell you one thing when we are talking about seats in madhya pradesh and uh, you know we'll talk about chatisgarh in the end like um, kushal said uh, i'm sorry in the next podcast madhya pradesh has some also apart from your shivraj singh chauhan and stuff it also has people like you know your sudhir gupta from mansour gajendra patel from khargon um, gyaneshwar patel so it it also has some workers it's not just all um, Uh, old bjp guard and stuff and jyotiraditya sindhya of course is first ever election on a bjp ticket from guna uh, <coughs> how that will impact the uh, the region around guna we'll madhya pradesh mein it's about kitne margin se jeette hain usme ijjat wala baat aa jati hai na ijjat wali baat aa jati hai ha so it's going to be like a 25 4 sort of thing or a 27 2 i i still think congress is going to win chindwara if kamal nath is with the congress and there is a one more seat ratlam where they have a chance we hmm. kantilal bhuriya ki seat so um, it's probably going to be a 27 2 or a 26 3 but we'll see what if they lose every seat fir kya hoga in logo ka kya hoga if congress lo- ka if they lose if they lose chindwada that means congress will not have a single mp in madhya pradesh rajasthan and gujarat for i think the first time since independence yeah i have a very ganda feeling that BJP might win every single seat this time. Correct. Because क्या होता है माल में voters की psychology क्या होती है voters tend to go with the better option for them because Indian politics is so centralized, right? So That's voters right. realize कि अगर ये दूसरा MP आ गया तो मेरा कुछ काम ही नहीं होगा इधर क्योंकि हर जगह देखो 
in india the tragedy is that mp mla and corporator all three hmm. of them are basically doing tatti pishap issues that's what i call <laughs> right they are all involved in tatti pishap issues so that's the right. voters mind at times right the voters <laughs> mind goes ki boss if i elect this guy hmm. i'm talking about a hindu voter who hmm. votes for the congress their that's mind right. might go ki yaar if i waste my vote on this guy hmm. i'm not getting my tatti pishap issues also sorted because hai nahi so hmm. some of them might jump into the bjp side is my feeling it could happen hmm. let's see i'm not i won't be surprised if bjp basically sweeps this entire belt because hmm. look these you this is a very the indian voter is very intelligent they right. understand kisko vote karna hai jisse mera kaam ho jayega they are that's very right. sharp that's right और काम हो जाएगा एंड ऑल्सो द इंडियन वोटर रियलाइज दैट लॉन्ग टर्म फायदा किससे होने वाला है इफ यू आर गोइंग टू हैव अटन बीजेपी फोक्स उसका फायदा इन टर्म्स ऑफ गेटिंग यू नो फ्री बीज टू समेंट और गेटिंग स्टफ वो कितना रहेगा लंबा रहेगा नहीं रहेगा यू नो वॉट 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 वैलिड क्वेश्चन टू या सो Uh, so we'll have to see how it works and kahan tak kahan tak jata hai but these are these are some very legitimate issues that could see uh, coming up in the last elections yeah so i guess we'll stop at these states and the rest we'll cover in part 2 ki tere ko ek aur karna hai nahi to ek aur choti state karni hai tere ko नहीं 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 वी कैन कवर द रेस्ट इन हाँ वी कैन ओके वील टॉक अबाउट छत्तीसगढ़ वी कैन टॉक अबाउट छत्तीसगढ़ छत्तीसगढ़ में कपल ऑफ इंटरेस्टिंग थिंग्स इज सीट्स छत्तीसगढ़ में ग्यारह ग्यारह इलेवन सीट्स सो ग्यारह कैसे दस हुई ना यार आदित नहीं ग्यारह सीट्स इट यूज टू बी सॉरी सॉरी टोटल ग्यारह टोटल ग्यारह आई एम वेरी सॉरी टोटल ग्यारह बीजेपी की दस है हाँ बीजेपी के दस है टोटल ग्यारह सीट्स है एंड बीजेपी इज लाइकली टू गेट दो टेन सीट्स अगेन आई थिंक they bjp is uh, has nominated all 11 seats you know you have vijay bagel who is uh, from durg who is a bigger uh, very um, sort of old guard good face from there um, you do not have raman singh's name listed from rajnandgaon it is sandosh pandey rajnandgaon was uh, raman singh and his son's old satrap saroj pandey gets there uh, and then there are uh, a few you know uh, a very interesting nominees chintamani maharaj right from uh, sarguja so how does um is that going to be a uh, a long term sort of situation that they do uh, are we going to see a couple more sort of godmen so to speak in there and then we are going to uh, then uh, the other interesting thing is mahesh kashyap from bastar now bastar is your naxalite area and bjp still has done well in that and it always seems to shock people why but they have last time actually this uh, lost was the first time they lost bastar since 1998 Mm. and so most people think if you know why are they doing this and so forth but the thing is there <laughs> raman singh's thing uh, has worked pretty well and um, uh, and his sort of uh, what you may call um, uh, outreach to the thing the programs that they had for rice some the food program that is worked and people still remember uh, 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 still remember that um, now chintamani maharaj is a uh, uh, is an mla uh, that is there uh, from chatisgarh current mla he is a career politician the reason i talked about the religious uh, gurus in um, uh, godmen in there is because there were rumors that from madhya pradesh or chatisgarh or from bihar there was this one very senior um, uh, uh, very pop currently popular uh, 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 baba who was supposed to be given a ticket uh, i don't think they have been or maybe they have not been declared uh, and then, then there were rumors arise and i'm glad that they haven't been declared main mujhe kisi ka naam nahi lena i don't want to get into trouble but uh, there were a lot of rumors that they were not getting but if these old school faces the mlas your mps have been given uh, tickets you know mlas have been tickets to fight an mp election that means that the bjp is pretty confident and rather than getting sort of people who can just win uh, they are going to uh, go and get a um, uh, a, a long term solution for this area and so that is very good news for the bjp yeah uh, i think like this belt overall is the bjp strong area 
Hmm. So good. We have covered quite a few states today hmm. because I knew we cannot do this in one part. We will have uh, to do one more part. But I, I will. I will say one thing before we take questions: is Tamil Nadu and Kerala, and I'm going to. I'm going to leave this part. BJP is in contest in at least six seats along both the seats. What are those six seats? We will talk in part two. But I, someone actually accused me of uh, being on drugs, and I told them that, buddy, I'm on data, not on drugs. <laughs> so, I'm not saying that in six seats. I'm not saying there is legitimate data that I've seen from people, friends I've, who've done polls there, uh, from historic data, and from Annamalai's Yatra response that Tamil Nadu and stuff they do have that. And uh, the reason why we obviously didn't talk about Odisha was Naveen and BJP. If their alliance happens, we'll see. इसके लिए अभी बात करके कोई मतलब नहीं है थोड़ा टाइम रुक के but without uh, anything I'm telling you नवीन अगर नवीन को month end पे करना चाहिए तुझे नहीं लगता नवीन हाँ absolutely no no I agree maybe after the elections are announced we'll do next part uh, yeah. but if Naveen and BJP alliance uh, happens uh, BJP you can rest assured they are going to get 19 or 20 out of 21 if not all 21 I'm just going to say it regardless of whoever the heck if Naveen Patnaik stands on all seats even then they'll win <laughs> and doesn't campaign it's that formidable mm. ah, but yes yeah. uh, go on you're saying um, no so so the I mean I've heard some interesting things about um, BJP in um, in the Tamil Nadu region also but uh, we'll talk mm-hmm. about it in part two i don't want to talk about it in detail over here now we'll take questions because okay overconfident bjp voter is the threat to modi 3.0 i can't insist this enough yes Listen, all of you i'm a bjp voter go and vote damn it i every single one of you go and vote hmm. and basically basically 2004 ke ghosts abhi bhi hai and this is like that uh, abhi hum zinda hai type moment uh, any uh, i'll i'll tell you this if if there is a <coughs> inevitability air of inevitability it's not just congress even bjp has to be blamed for it they have to whip up a little bit of you know um, local sort of enthusiasm and stuff because agar wo nahi hua then you could be in for a surprise in a few seats it's not as much of a one horse race as people think yes. it is yeah which is my biggest concern is the absolute uh, lackadaisical uh, attitude hmm. what can ensure more seats for bjp in maharashtra honestly it depends on candidates um, if you're talking about nda um, i think probably can, yeah, like kushal said candidate selection getting your caste combination rights and yeah. making not ma- not making silly compromises on all these maratha reservation uh, uh, noise because the bjp has gained in the non maratha obc and uh, the upper caste votes you don't want to let go of that in pandering to ajit pawar's vote bank hmm yeah okay somebody says bengal will shock many ganguly sir will pour more young educated votes villagers ready bj uh, bjp voters my first vote also also go to them am i right or wrong listen i from what i am talking to the carder they say the hindu polarization is slightly more than last time compared to 2019 so that mm-hmm. might result in two three seats more is what i have heard from people listen क्या होता है कि पीपल थिंक क्योंकि मैं पॉडकास्टर हूँ इसके लिए मुझे लोग बात करते हैं नहीं भाई मैं 2008-9 से मैं कम से कम पांच इलेक्शन में खुद उतर के काम कर चुका हूँ येड़ो तो मैं बेसिकली सिस्टम के अंदर लोगों को बहुत ज्यादा जानता हूँ तो इसीलिए इज्जत है मेरी सिस्टम के अंदर क्योंकि मैंने इतना काम किया हुआ है पार्टी के आई लव दर्ड ये महाराष्ट्र पैदा ही इधर हुआ तो क्या करूँ अभी तो अभी वही बोलूंगा तो मतलब मैं सब जानते हैं तो बात करता हूं मैं लोगों से आई नो दी एजेंसी ऑल्सो दैट वर्क्स फॉर बीजेपी इलेक्टोरल मैनेजमेंट मैं थोड़ा ना कंपनी का नाम बताऊंगा तुम तुम जेम्स बॉन्ड बन के कर लो अपना जो करना है मैं तो उनसे ही बात करता हूं डायरेक्टली यार मैं तो उनसे पूछता हूं और काफी है जिनसे मैं बात करता हूँ तो मैं और एक होता है कि आप जो ट्विटर पे बोलते हो मगर पार्टी के इंटरनल पोल्स भी तो होते हैं ना पार्टी क्या सोच रही है क्या बोल रही है आई मीन हम जैसे टुचो को तो पता बताते हैं लोग तो या दे एक्चुअली सीरियसली आर कंसीडरिंग बंगाल में 2021 सीट्स आएंगी उनको लास्ट टाइम एनी वन यू टॉक टू विल सी विल से दैट दे आर ऑलरेडी देयर मेंटली 80 एट 18 एंड 19 लास्ट टाइम नाउ दे हैव टू दे हैव टू सी कि यू नो डेमोग्राफिक क्या कैसे करेंगे Hmm. Okay, very interesting one. When Nandigram incident happened, Communist Party went out of power. TMC came to power. Will Sandesh Khali play a role of in getting TMC out of power? 
I don't think so. Nandigram and uh, T uh, Sandesh Khali. No, Nandigram was a catalyst. Nandigram was a catalyst. Nandigram was not the cause. See, the communists were already in trouble before Nandigram. And if you uh, if you look at two thousand nine Lok Sabha, that was the biggest indication where Mamta and uh, Mamata and um, uh, Congress were in alliance in two thousand nine, and they swept the uh, 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 elections in in West Bengal, and and so that was and then Nandigram just happened because Mamata was. extremely sort of um, uh, prescient when it comes to how to how to exploit this uh, thing so nandigram was more like a leftist sort of movement like a peasant and uh, workers agitation types um, whereas sandesh khali is not a movement sandesh khali is more of the local gundas uh, of the trinamool congress party essentially using rape or sexual assault as a political weapon of political use which is horrendous or let me rephrase allegedly using uh, as that uh, you know still proven and stuff and we'll have to we'll have to see how that uh, uh, pans out but yeah yeah okay next hai ji how much does the ram mandir impact for 350 plus for bjp listen definitely ram mandir will add a few vote percentage points but uh, completing uh... no i don't think it can go through 350 i think ram mandir will definitely add emotional value ram mandir does really big for mr modi's um, personal card in terms of he will be known as the man who ensured the 370 was lifted from kashmir and ensured that ram mandir happened and before people say um, oh sirf courts ka tha and stuff political will political pressure is a thing unfortunately in term, especially in i don't i'm not saying on the court or something but on the outside side so and the willingness to do something right court ne to jo bhi bola aapke andar willingness bhi to honi chahiye to do it so uska hmm. uh, unka personal stock bahut badhega i don't see this going to be more than 5 or 10 seat bump because of ram mandir because ram mandir has gone from being a political issue to a cultural issue an issue of cultural pride so it's no longer a political issue hello yeah पटनायक जी स्लो एंड स्टडी विंस द रेस या अभी उनको तो क्या बोले सो ओके बड़े इंटरेस्टिंग बात है मिस्टर ई हैज बिकम अ मेंबर और मिसेस ई आप मिस्टर हो या मिसेस हो ई थैंक यू ओके प्रेडिक्शन माइन इज एनडीए 295 टू 310 एंड नॉट मोर आई थिंक बीजेपी अलोन गेट्स 315 से 325 इस बार आई पर्सन आई पर्सनली थिंक बीजेपी गेट्स अबाउट 280 um uh, 280 or 290 i think but nda definitely crosses 320 nda mere ko idea nahi hai bjp the 315 tak aayegi hmm uh are you both seeing any complacency on ground within bjp like in 2004 no bjp cadre is like full on working no, yeah, there is, you have to understand 2004 is like uh, covid 19 in bjp इतना डर गए सब दे आर ऑल वैक्सीनेटेड मतलब नाम भी दो बिकॉज टू अगेन आई रिपीट वन थिंग एंड कुछ आई हैव टू क्लैरिफाई दिस बिकॉज मैं बोल बोल के थक गया हूँ टू थाउजेंड फोर एग्जिट पोल्स और ओपिनियन पोल्स डिड नॉट गेट द होल इलेक्शन रॉन्ग दे गॉट बीजेपी रॉन्ग दे गॉट कांग्रेस स्पॉट ऑन बीजेपी का एक्सपेक्टेशन 272 का था या 240 का था एंड दे एंडेड अप विद 138 दैट इज व्हाई इट वाज सो शॉकिंग कांग्रेस का एक्सपेक्टेंस एक्सपेक्टेशन उतना था दे एंडेड अप विद 145 दे ओनली गॉट सेवन मोर सीट्स देन बीजेपी एंड आई विल टेल यू व्हेयर दे गॉट इट रॉन्ग देयर आर फोर स्टेट्स व्हेयर बीजेपी लॉस्ट दिस इलेक्शन वन इज तमिलनाडु बीजेपी एंड अन्ना डीएमके गॉट अ जीरो बीजेपी मिसकैलकुलेटेड बाय अबैंडनिंग डीएमके देयर their ally from 98 to 2003 jinke ministers the and dmk goes with congress and gets 39 out of 39 second andhra pradesh bjp gave up too much to chandra babu naidu just to get 7 8 seats in 1999 that resulted in ysr doing an alliance with telangana rashtriya samiti and others and um, bjp and tdp getting um, very few seats in 2004 and five maybe i don't even know if it was five it was maybe less than that and the third one was How BJP badly did in Bihar. Bihar, me Lalu Prasad Yadav got more than twenty seats, right? And then, um, uh, uh, and the last one, last not the least, was Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh, me BJP got ten seats. You cannot win a general election in India 
if you are BJP by just getting 10 seats in Uttar Pradesh. So that is the reason why 2004 was a miscalculation for a lot of people. But uh, ab kya hai 2004 is, has become this, this um, you know, that's anathema, like log dar jate, uska reference sun ke. So I think they are, mm. they are worried and stuff. Yeah, I think that makes, uh, makes uh, sense. Uh, I agree with you. Hmm. But uh, from what I have understood, uh, at a party cadre level, tremendous work. Mujhe hi kam se kam teen char meeting to meri ho chuki hai. Log mujhe hi aake mil chuke hai ki Kushal tum kya karne wale ho, kya nahi honne wala hai ho. Bhai, you might be the new MP from Bandara Gondia. Dekh bhai, bhai chhe mahine to India mein rehta hu. Haan to? Abhi koi bole ga Rahul Gandhi se jada tum rehta hai India mein, magar nahi. Bhai, where that this that disqualifies at least to openly bolta that I'm six months there are a lot of MPs that openly don't admit how many are there. But uh, as far as I'm concerned, I have this much interest in ever joining politics. Anda, every ganda. I love my life too much. Uh, uh, and, and by the way, before you complete, five people again uh, wrote or something. We are doing that cricket podcast next week, guys. Aha, Pandra Tarik ko karenge, bhai. Friday the 15th. Ha, Friday the Friday 15th. 15th, not 13th. Friday the 15th. Friday the 15th. That's right. Yes. We'll do. Because uh, uh, I was like, we will do it, don't worry. Nah, humne cricket and we'll hai. have two separate podcasts. One, this podcast will be about the test series and a lot of other peripheral controversies. Uh, also, by the way, uh, Mumbai is in the Ranji Trophy final. Uh -huh. And Vidarbha is our opponent. It's an all Maharashtra affair in the Ranji Correct. Trophy. Uh, so to all the suckers, Jai Maharashtra uh, <laughs> for that. Jai Maharashtra yes. to that. And um, don't tell Sunil to ask her that. <laughs> he only wants one team to win. <laughs> Obviously, even I only I also only want one team to win. Nee, nee, why? Always Jai Mumbai for life. Always nee, Mumbai nee, for life. Vidarbha come jita hai. That's why I, I, I love Mumbai. Nee, wo kam jita hai. But wo jab main... koi aur ko khelenge to unko jitne to Mumbai. So chalo, ke ja, just to create some fun controversies, I'll support Vidarbha. Kushal will support Shameless Mumbai. Shameless creature you are. Shameless creature. A very big creature. Very. Uh, please on the chat, let us know if I should support Vidarbha or not and uh, Friday ko duel ho ki Vidarbha no, will be under ko support karega usko kide padenge main shrap deta hu main Vidarbha ke cause ki baat nahi kar raha Vidarbha waise to Baroda ki bhi Ranji Trophy team hai <laughs> waise hi main kar raha hu Vidarbha Vidarbha in Maharashtra so we'll see uh, we'll see kya hota hai <laughs> yeah so we'll do two cricket podcasts this month one dedicated to Adit's favorite uh, tournament IPL and that's my right for the record I imagine my dedication I bought a Mumbai Indians jersey this time I will hmm. wear it when we do our uh, IPL podcast. I told uh, Adit Manala, I have a Mumbai Indians ki jersey. Le Adit was like, Match so to ek dekh ne wala jersey. Kyo kari <laughs> true, true, true statement. <laughs> uh -huh. So, but I still bought it. So, there will be one more election analysis podcast and two cricket podcasts this month. And last, somebody is like, Kushal, any chance BJP might cross 350? Dekho, if you ask me, I don't think so. They cannot. They cannot. I, mean, I don't they, think so. To get to get three fifty, they uh, they should get uh, um, they should get like they, they should get twenty from Tamil Nadu plus Kerala, and ten from Telangana plus Andhra Pradesh. Either of which I don't see happening. Yeah, I just uh, I just see. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, kaise math hai, yar? I I've heard serious people tell me sade teen so, and I'm like, yar, tum. कैसे बट देन मेरा रिकॉर्ड इसमें बहुत ही घटिया है क्योंकि मैंने तो 300 को भी कैसे बोला था लास्ट टाइम कैसे मगर फिर आ गई 300 तो फिर अभी यार नो आई टेल यू दिस आई टेल यू दिस इट्स you have to have an election which is unheard of in Indian politics, which is not about issues, not about that and it's a referendum on Prime Minister Modi only then he gets 350 otherwise he does not one prediction I can make without IPL शुरू होगा है ना RCB IPL नहीं जीतेगी वो एक मिनट we have to end it on this then wait आज एक किसी ने legendary photo share की थी to all my you know what's irony is I was someone also wrote that if Vidar wins Kushal should wear an RCB jersey वो jersey नहीं पहनेगा but मैं कुछ मैं कुछ नहीं नहीं RCB की jersey नहीं पहनेगा नहीं 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 jersey नहीं but I will I will I will throw this out for the podcast if 
if mumbai wins i will have a mumbai indians background for 5 minutes that day if vidarbh wins you will have gujarat titans background or rcb background for 5 minutes yes. how about that and, and i just want to end today's podcast <clears throat> by showing all rcb fans this this is the best any team can win ipl but bengaluru cat <laughs> I loved this. I loved this. This is the greatest photo ever. I, in fact, I will make a T-shirt of this, print it, and go and wear this T-shirt in a RCB match in Bengaluru to troll For- all of them. <laughs> no, no, they, they they won't mind. So, so RCB like Bengaluru. If you go in Bengaluru and uh, to the stadium, some of the nicest people around and stuff. But the RCB fans on the internet are insane. Like they get so angry. मतलब किसी किसी ने मुझे some some RCB fan was saying, सब cricketers शादी में आए अकेला मेरा विराट कोहली था जो खरीद बिका नहीं अंबानी की वजह से and stuff like that. And I'm like, he actually wrote that. He actually in all seriousness. And I'm like, wow, wow, wow. I was like, if Virat Kohli has to miss the fifth test match but then shows up for the ambani wedding matlab bahut kuch bahut kuch miss ho jata hai virat kohli ka so uh, uh so it's that level of delusion for people in america that don't know what rcb is rcb is the dallas cowboys of indian cricket dallas cowboys yahan ki nfl team hai love the city of dallas but dallas cowboys wale uh, they believe that they are going to win the nfl every single year and then they humiliate get humiliated in the playoffs and then again just like rcb e sala cup number they they get and i some of my very good friends are rcb fans but my god the level of delusion is so funny that they are not good <laughs> and, and my favorite thing for them to provoke is that uh, gujarat titans has played less seasons in india than rcb has in the last 5 years and we've still won once and gone to the final one <laughs> Or we have we have gone we have gone to the final two times and RCB has not gone in the last few years in the last four and they get very angry. Uh, and so, on that very positive note, we will end today's podcast. Adit, as always, pleasure talking to you, buddy. Absolutely, the बहुत मजा आया आज. So, so guys, go follow Adit on Twitter. Uh, his handle is there in the description of the podcast. Also, subscribe to the Mind Makers channel. As far as I'm concerned, if you want to support the Charvak podcast, please try to join the membership program as E did on the live stream today. So, if and, you and join just, the membership, Kushal, well, I'm sorry, I, do, I didn't want to. I I want to do a small shameless plug or something. I am going to do a detailed five part uh, seat by seat series on on yeah. Mind Makers and uh, from this week onwards. हम लोग ये तो करेंगे obviously, but I'm just going to go into in depth and stuff uh, by regions. Okay. So four states at a time. So uh, please check it out, guys. You know uh, your support. मेरे को भेजना है. I tweeted out also. I tweeted. Uh, I know, and definitely, but I'm just just wanting to let the people know as well. And you know, you, uh, uh, again, follow on Twitter, and I'll tweet out the links. as well but it'll be like a uh, for sta- region by region analysis of the lok sabha sorry just had great. to plug that in there uh-huh. great great no problem so yeah so if you can do join the membership program it's available on all three platforms fanmo patreon youtube jidhar se bhi join karna chahte ho join kar lo uh, if you want to buy the charvak podcast merchandise you can go on kushalmehra.com and buy the merchandise or on kadak merch also uh to the speak with me tier members you know the uh, deal or if you have not joined the speak with me if you join and stay a member for 3 months plus and are a uh, active member you'll get a signed copy of my book uh, out of india people i'm trying to figure something out i don't know how to do it but uh, uh if you can't do any of this just like this video subscribe to the charvak podcast youtube channel or uh, just leave a comment in the comment section audio listeners do leave a rating on your preferred audio platform i'll see you guys next time until then namaste take care bye